Hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That is exactly what we do and today we are going to make something a little different. We are going to make hanging baskets. Yeah, so welcome everybody. Thank y'all yes. so much for joining us today. If you are watching us live, welcome. We are so glad you are here. We are live every Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time for Flower Friday Live. So we are so glad yep. you guys are joining us today. If you are watching us live, if you will, just type live in the comments and let us know where you're watching this video from today that's right and if you have friends that you think would like to see this let them know too so that they can see how we make hanging baskets yeah, so, i'm excited about this one so welcome welcome if you are watching us on replay if you guys will just click uh, or just type replay in the comments and let us know where you're watching this video from this is going to be a fun one today so it i is. have always been interested in you know any kind of flowers that don't die. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Any kind of flowers that I can me put out that too. don't die. Because yes. every time I hang a hanging basket, yeah, I forget to water it. Yeah, I'm I know. really bad about that. And we live I in know. Alabama, so we've got that So hot. it's very, very hot. Yeah, exactly. Right. right. Yeah. Summer sun. So definitely, if I can have something that doesn't die on me, we're... Good. You're doing good, huh? <laughs> yep, that's the truth. I mean, Amanda even gave me a, uh, what was that plant that you gave me? Oh, it was a, um, well, it was just a, um, what was it? you know. Air, oh, no. no, it's not an air plant. What's um, it called? Uh, you know, the ones that the, are it's tall. It's not a spider plant, is it's it? It's not spider. Snake, snake, snake plant. That's yes, it. and you know, you're. Uh, I, I, I didn't kill it. I'm thankful for that, but I almost did. Because I forget to water stuff. Isn't that terrible? I hate yeah, that. That's about, me. I, I've got, and I should the, do something about that. But I'm trying to get better. I am. So I have started back watering it like fairly regularly. Well, and it lo it's starting to look better. No, I just throw like a couple of ice cubes in it once every like two months, three months. That's all? Yeah. That's all I do. Well, see, I was. Maybe you're about, over watering. Maybe. I don't know. I never but, know what to do with them. So, therefore, we're doing we're, artificial that's why we work with baskets. artificial yeah yes. hey i can i can grow a garden like she a vegetable can garden. Now. she can get some vegetables growing but i work with the artificial flowers yep. the rest of the time <laughs> so i'm going to show you what we're using we have got and and right now they're on sale at michael's we've got these beautiful um hoya plants is what they call them i guess that's what they are and uh i got two of those and, the, it, it, you know, you look at them, they're already a hanging plant right there. Aren't those pretty? Hey, that's we're gonna, you could just fill it up with that. That'd yeah, I mean, you really could, but I, you know, I'm always going to put flowers in something if I can. So, we have got these pretty petunias, these little pink petunias that we're going to use. These actually are from Joann's, but uh, I just thought they were so pretty. So, we are going to use those. And then I've got some baby's breath. If, if I think I need it, I can just kind of sprinkle some baby's breath around there. So we've got that. We've even got some uh, air moss, I think is what they call that. And uh, that's just in case, you know, we need to put anything around on the uh, styrofoam. We did put styrofoam. We cut the styrofoam and put it in our basket to make sure everything is in here good. Hey, Kim. Hey, Lori. Those hey of there. you who are just hopping on, welcome. We're so glad y'all are with us. Hey, Brandy. Y'all let hey us there, know Brandy. in the comments that you are here with us today and what you are uh, or where you're watching us from. So I do have my floral foam. I have not put mine in there yet. You see this little hanging basket. You could use any size. You're just going to want to make sure you cut and fit your floral foam uh, securely in, in, in there. there. So and you could glue secure. it in there if you wanted to. I didn't because it fits so so securely it's not coming out so but you could if you wanted to so we just already just you know cut it to fit um so of course that would depend on what size your basket is now you'll see that this has got three of the little ropes to hang it so we are going to actually make this piece in between these first two is going to be our uh front so, and, and look at the way your little loop is and all that, because that's the way you're going to hang it. So, however it looks like it's going to fall naturally, that's what you want to make sure that you get the front 
of that. So I'm just going to move all of my ropes out of the way. And I've got my front towards me. And we will just start this. Now you could use any color petunias uh, that you would that you wanted. We had some pretty ones over there. With the, the oh, purple the purples. Ones. Let me grab I think those that. would be pretty too. We're just going to go with the pink today, but any color, you know, that you love, uh, you could put in those. Actually, I think that that might be morning glory, but that would look I pretty think in these here are too. morning glories, but yes, they would be beautiful in there too. So anything, you know, like that, that, that you would naturally see that would kind of hang. That's what you want to go with. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted to just do a, you know, a greenery, um, thing, you could do fern. You can get some beautiful fern, uh, plants at, uh, Michael's or anywhere. Uh, you know, I've even mm -hmm. seen those at, at Walmart and, you know, fill up your basket to make it look like a fern. Yeah. And those that we, those purple ones, I think are the waterproof. Mm -hmm, they are. And you may want to, I mean, you don't have to get those, but if you're going to have it somewhere where it does get, you know, wet, if you're hanging it outside on your porch or whatever, and it's it's close to the railing and it might get wet, you might want to use those, but yeah. we're not doing that today. We're just no. using regular ones. Yep. Whatever was on sale at, at Joann's, that's what we're using. Yes, today. that's exactly what we're doing. Now, um, I am just kind of figuring out, I'm, I'm looking at it, pulling down on my pieces that are, uh, that just, you know, hang and making sure that I've got it. This is going to be the way I'm, I'm putting the whole thing in. This one's going in just like it is. So you can cut off part of the bottom stem if you want to, or just put it, it's probably going to be a little long. So, um, we may have to use the big dogs for that. I'm not sure. Oh, I think we might. Yep, I think we will. So we do have our handy dandy, what oh, we call wait a our big I was dogs. able to get it. Oh, yours cut? Let yeah, mine cut, it. but you may need to well, use the big dogs because I, I just. And uh, now you can glue these if you want to. There you go. And if you don't have any bolt cutters, I would get you some. Because those are, they, yeah, those are our big dogs. Those, those are our big dogs, and those work so well. So and all I'm doing, I'm just kind of playing with the plant and making sure that all the leaves are like I want it before I put it down in here. Uh, and you, the good thing about these, you can twist them so that the leaves are facing the way that you want to. So just get all of those looking good. And I am just going to put that right down in the center of my styrofoam, just like that. And then I'm just going to get it arranged. How, far, how deep I want that to go. And I mean, you know, the the thing is, Michaels or wherever you get your, your hanging plants, I mean, they've already done a lot of the work for you because they've got it with the pieces falling just like you're going to want them to fall. So that is okay, and really, part of the <laughs> put a couple of those in there, hang it if you're into the more natural look and you've got you a greenery basket. Yes, you really do. I was trying to see how much. Okay, these were regularly $19.99, but they were, I think they were 60%. They were at least 50%, but I think they were 60% off. So, you know, a lot cheaper than if you're buying a hanging basket. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think my little basket was four four ninety nine. dollars I think. And we're not gluing anything really in as no. far as like the styrofoam or whatever. So, you know, you can take it out, change your little arrangement and just keep, you know, use it year after, or season after season. Yes. And now, you know, you're going to want to put some of your uh, hanging pieces down. So you've got to kind of arrange around the rope. So kind of hold it up so that you can see exactly how it's going and get those right where they need to be. So we've got some in the front, yes, some in the back. That's the way. Now the second one we can take apart and we can put this where we, if we have any spots that we think we need some more. So I'm going to get a couple of the longer pieces. If I had a bigger basket, I'd probably just put them both down in. This is I kind would. Of a, this if, if it was a bigger basket, that's exactly yeah. what I would do. This basket is not huge. I mean... Um, 
like I don't know. I don't know where my measuring tape is, but it, it's not a huge basket. So, but if you had a bigger one, I'd just put both yes, straight in there, too. just, you know, the whole thing. Well, I don't know where the tape measure. I don't know either. I cleaned, and, and then when I clean, Yeah, that's what always when we clean, happens. Oh, here it is. Then I can't find it. That's what, because it's where it should be, and of course, that's when I never know how to find it, when, do, it, when it's where it should be. Do y'all know how that is? Like, Please say I might, you do. I might have my mess, but I know where everything is. Yes. <laughs> and then when I try to clean it, I can't find what I'm I know. For. Then then it really makes makes it bad. I'm going to put this one hanging right in the back. Yeah, I think this basket is about six inches, the bottom, so yeah. it's not huge. It's, it's not big, but it is perfect for what we need now and then you just want to keep picking your your things up so that you can see that you've got them on the right side that you need on your row because you've got to kind of pull things through so that they they hang but i mean just as a green hanging plant isn't that beautiful mm -hmm. i mean really yeah you know you really don't have to do anything else but y'all know us y'all know <laughs> us we got to do something else we have to do something else so, I am going to take my little petunias, and these were on sale, too, from Joanne's. I said that we weren't using glue. Are you using glue? I haven't used glue yet. I've got it up well, in case I wanted to, but I haven't used I it. I used that glue. But you did? Now, I, did. I didn't, but you can. It doesn't matter. Um, these were regularly $5.99, but they were 70% off, so that's really good. All right, I am going to cut the little piece of that. I, I'm, let me see how. Actually, I'm going to cut both of these because I've got more. So, Oh, Brandy said absolutely. So we're not alone in that. Oh, yeah, good. It's like, I good. know where my mess is. So if you, if you yes, move my I mess. Yes, and I get so mad if somebody if you try moves to clean my, my mess. mess. I have a pile. Does anybody else have a pile? I have a pile beside my computer. That pile has everything that is important to me for right now that I need to, to know about. And if somebody messes with my pile, I'd just about go off. I mean, it's like, don't touch my pile. That's, your, then, that's your right now pile. That's my right now pile. Yeah. Does anybody else have a right now pile? Don't you mess know, with the right Don't right mess now with pile. my pile. I'm like, please don't touch that. Okay. So I just put mine like right here at the front and I bent it so it's hanging down because that's yes. a longer one. The stem has two. It has a longer one and then a shorter one. Yes. So I just kind of bent it so it's hanging down. I'm trying to make sure I get it in there so that, uh-oh, I lost one of my little flowers. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me put that back on. There we go. These pink petunias are they really are pretty. They are so though. pretty. I'm going to put this right in the center, just like that. And then I've got another one. Get the price off. Yeah. These prices are on every stem. Yep. All right, I'm going to cut the stem down here because I'm going to leave this one a little bit longer. Cut the short one off. And I just bend it around just like this. And I think I'm going to put that on this side. So y'all let us know what you're working on. Any fun projects you've got going on. Yes. I have just been working in my garden all week. It's been yep. a job too. Oh, it's been so windy here. Yeah, I don't know how you get windy. anything. I had to do it in the rain because uh, it had to get done. Yeah, it had to get done. And uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I waited until the last minute to do it. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's usually what. I, well, I don't know. This one right here, I don't know where she finds the time with the kids. They're, they're doing everything and going every which way. And I don't know where she finds well, the time. We manage. But that does mean sometimes I have to do things in the rain. And so yes. that's what I did. This week it has been rainy and windy and the weather has been horrible. But I've been out there in my garden working. But you've been doing And it. I've got almost Oops, everything planted. Space. So that is good. Okay, now i got to figure out which one, which way was my front again. 
Well, if you hit, yeah, if you lift it up, there it was. Start, it'll it'll there tell you where it its is. front is. Yep, it does tell you. These are falling off a little bit. So. I know you may need to glue these because I'm I'm you just barely pull them and they do mm. kind of come off. So just stick a little glue on them and they'll they'll stick there for you. So really, you can't thing. get much easier than this. We're just sticking these in. I mean, very easy. I mean, I added a little glue to mine, but you don't have to. How does that? I can't, I can't tell. Do you think that's too long, or do you think? Well, I guess it depends on how long you want it, really. Mine aren't that long, but... Yeah, I'm just... But, I mean, I like it that long. Yeah, I think I'm a lot of I'm going to leave it. A lot of it is your preference. Yes. Um like if you want it more full or yeah, I think I'm gonna long. put some more on this side because I need one on this side. And then out a little bit. So do you have four or three of those? I have four. How many did you have? I had three, but I'll add this one. You had three? I had three around the outside. Oh, you've already put three. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm working on my third one. Oh, oh so you're just doing three. I don't know. Oops. I dropped, dropped some styrofoam if y'all heard something hit the floor. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know yet. I'm I'm waiting to see if I need it. I think I think three's gonna be yeah, enough. That's what I'm thinking too. But I think four might be too I many think it might be too much. Around the outside. Yeah. And really, it just depends on if you want your flowers longer or your greenery hanging. Yes. And honestly, it's so full already that mm -hmm. I don't know if, um, I don't think I'm going to have to put any of the moss yeah, in it. Yeah, I don't think it. so either. That's why we didn't put it at the beginning because I didn't know we didn't if know we, we would need it. it. I'm adding a couple of my short ones Oops, here I lost in the middle. One of my, I see that one of my little um, flowers is off. Oh, maybe that's not. Yeah, maybe that's not off. Maybe that's just the way that the stem is. Now, let's see. I was just trying to get that turned around. We actually did not have power for most of the day. I know, we did. So uh, we were really hoping that the power would come back on, but there was, yes. a, uh, because I told y'all, we've had really bad weather the last, what, It's just been so last windy. Week, it seems like very, very mm -hmm. windy, just a, like a lot of, um, just really bad weather, a lot of wind and rain, and a tree right here by our house fell on a um, power line. It so. sure did. We did not have yeah. power, and we were and hoping the, you know, that we would get it back for Flower Friday. I uh, know it. You know, most of y'all know that the school is next door, and uh, all day those kids have been outside playing because they had no power. And uh, I think one of the other schools actually had to bring them lunch. Oh, I was wondering uh, what they Yeah, I wondered lunch. about that, too. But one of the other schools brought over lunch for this school, so that worked out. But uh, that was... That was an unusual thing, and they were outside playing. You know, those kids had a ball. Hey, they probably loved it. They did. Power. They're like, can't that electricity go off every day? Mm -hmm. You know, they loved it. But you see, we just already, there, you know. You, oops, I got something hanging. There we go. I don't really think, now, you, you know, I got this out in case we needed to fill it up anywhere. And you, I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to use it, I don't think, but I'm just going to show you what it would look like if you wanted to. Are you putting any in? I'll put it in and see. What I don't it looks think like. I'm gonna actually use it, but you could use some baby's breath if you needed any to fill in around. But I just kind of like the green, so I think I'm gonna leave it. And like I said, you could do this with just um, the greenery, and uh, I have done it. Uh, geraniums are great in hanging baskets and uh, I always do that at 4th of July. Of course, I like real ones too, but 
Well, you do pretty I good use. with real stuff. Better than I do. I mean, you, well, you're not giving yourself enough credit. Now, I really don't do good with, with real stuff. I, except I do for better. Vegetables. You know, I, I, like, I like outside stuff. I'm good with outside stuff for some reason. Live plants inside, I forget about. But if they're outside, I remember. But I love to stay outside when it's pretty. So mm -hmm. that's that's the reason, I guess. So I'm just but see, a I mean that's bit of that cute. Throughout. Yeah, I kind of like it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave mine like it is. But see, you could uh, put these. I, it was funny. I was uh, this has been a year or two back. Uh, I was in Michael's and a lady, I saw her coming out with just, I can't even tell you how many bagfuls of flowers, just all in greenery, just all kinds of stuff. And when I, I finished shopping and I got up there to check out and the woman said, did you happen to see the lady that just left? I said, yes. She said, uh, she lived near the lady that was checking me out and she said you should see her yard it mm -hmm. is gorgeous she said she puts these flowers all over her yard and she said they look real you know and and she puts them in her beds yeah. i said in her beds i never thought of doing that and I, I still don't know that i would but she said it was pretty so I don't know. Have any of you ever done that? Have you? I've heard of people doing used that. artificial flowers for, you know, any of your outside stuff. And if so, how did it? Was it pretty? Did you like it? Did it? Did my thing is I, I just think they would fade too quickly. I would be afraid. Now you could use the well, um, the spray that we use. What's it called? The um, mat uh. The, the acrylic, uh, uh, what is it called? Why can't I think of it? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> you could use that, I guess, and spray them. And that's the UV mm -hmm. stuff. And that's going to help them, you know, where they don't fade quite as bad. But um, I don't know. I think that uh, I would love to see somebody's that. So if you've ever done that, if you have pictures, pop a picture and let me see. Because yeah. I would love to see that. I would love to see if that works because I've got several planters outside that would I'd love to put something in and not have to do anything with. Did you use all of your um, petunias? No, I've got one whole. Do you need it? No. Oh, no, yeah, no, I've got one easy. whole one here. So, so what we used were two of the hanging plants and three stems of the petunias was what I used, and then she used some of the babies. The baby's breath is from Hobby Lobby. Uh, she used some of that. And you know, if you wanted to, I don't, uh, I don't think I want to, but if you did, you could decorate your, you know, here's some ribbon. You could come around and, and just glue, you know, a pretty, pretty little ribbon around the base of your, uh, your pot or your, basket mm -hmm. that would be pretty you could put a little bow on your basket if you wanted to so there's just all kinds of things you could do with it yeah. and of course any color you and want. these leaves right here these this this is gorgeous this hoya plant it is really a beautiful plant Says she knows of someone who does that with window planters. That yeah, I think yeah. I could definitely see probably the window planters. And does does it does it look real? You know, from somebody looking at it, I bet it does. Well, I mean, especially because like I know if you're, if you're looking you know, from you the street. You think about that if, if you're, you're looking the from the street. Yeah, I mean, you know. I could see. I mean, I actually our shop shop at my my husband well, was my husband's shop, but. It has the window planters. It and does. I should do, I you should really should. I think that would. You look. need to try that, and then that way we'll know if it. Yeah, well, I'll have to do that and then show you. Show yes, you all. yes, she needs to do that. If y'all want her to do that, type yes, do it, in the comments, and maybe we can really get her to do it. To put like some sunflowers or geraniums. Oh or something yeah, in anything there. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be so pretty. I like Lori that said, idea. yes, it looks real. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Oh, that nice. would be so neat. I may have to try that one time. But these are just super easy. This they is just really to give are. you an idea of a way that you can just, you know, like you don't have to buy real flowers. You can buy when they're on sale because we yes. always say buy on sale. Don't buy them and do pay not full buy, price. Do not buy full price. No, honestly, we, we will wait until something goes on sale. We do not buy it at full mm -hmm. price. It, I, it has to be an emergency. Listen, I don't know if y'all are like me, but when I buy something that I know they're going to put on sale in like a week, I just, I just can't, like, I can't make myself. She, and she can't. Or if She's I the do, one that stopped me, sick. honestly. I said, I, I learned something <laughs> from my daughter because she really, I would, I would just go and if I want, because, you know, we're an hour away from something. So if I had a doctor's appointment or something that, you know, I had to go to uh, Birmingham or Montgomery for, um, I would go shopping, and if they didn't have them on sale, well, I was already there, so I would buy them anyway, and she would have a fit. So, I learned to buy them on sale, and now, oh, I can't stand paying full price for I something. Know. Are y'all like us? Not when I know it's going to be on sale in a week or two. I, I just can't stand it. It's like at, at Hobby Lobby. Okay, everybody uh, knows that every other week, it's gonna be on whatever sale. you want is going to be on sale. So, yes. I just cannot make myself. I can't either. Buy it when it's full price. Like, I, I don't, I know that maybe it would save me money. Like, it just, yeah, because you're paying there. for gas and all but of that. I don't care. But, like, mm -mm. I can't do it. Yep. I'll <laughs> I just wait and order myself. it online, is what I'll have to do. Because, <laughs> yep. But, yeah, these are fun. These, these are super are easy. Fun. Like I said, we get some, some flowers on sale. Get one of these baskets when they're like 75% off at Michael's Oops. or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or wherever on clearance. Yes, because you, you can find them all the time, you know, on clearance and, and stuff. Yeah, and you can put them, you know, hang them at your house, on your front porch, by your door, yes. whatever. It's super cute, inexpensive, and so easy. Like, I did glue some of mine in, but she didn't even glue hers. I think I glued one piece. And you can just take it out I and don't really put new even flowers. Know why, but yes. You know, you could put sunflowers in there. You could put anything, really. Um, you know, you could keep the greenery in and then just change the Yes, the you flowers. really could. Yeah, unless it fades, but I'm going to spray I, it with the I stuff. I bet the greenery, I mean. I bet it won't if fade. If it does, maybe just a little bit. Yeah. And yes, this is, this is so, I mean, it is honestly beautiful. I'll show y'all that. You can find it uh, Amazon, Hobby Lobby. You may can find it at Walmart. I'm not I'm not sure about it. But no, but it is. It's can... the Krylon UV resistant clear spray matte finish. We use this all the time. All the time. It's great for yeah. like your, you know, anywhere that's going to get in the weather, like your mailbox swags or, you know, anything like that, isn't it? Yes, anything like that. It is great for. Yep. So this is just a super easy, inexpensive little DIY yes. that you guys can do. If you have ideas of things that you would like to see us make on Flower Friday, let us know in the comments. Yes. We're trying to make some, some different things for you guys. We've had a lot of different requests. And so we definitely want to want to do things that y'all want to see. That's right. So let us know in the comments what you would like to see us make here on our fl fr Flower yes. Flower. Yeah, something. Today. Yeah, Flower Friday Flower show. Flower Friday. Yes, because we do. We want to, you know, we want to, to do it for y'all. So you tell us what y'all want to see. Yeah. And if you are new to us, welcome. Let us know in the yes. comments that you're a first time viewer. We are live every Friday at four o'clock PM Central Standard Time for Flower Friday Live. So if you are uh, watching the replay or you're just hopping on, y'all be sure to join us next week. We'll have something else fun we will. for you guys. We will. Hey, Amber. Kay said, yes, it has to be on sale. Yep. Hey, Deb. We're so glad you're here with us. Yes, we are. She is new to our well, channel. Well, welcome, so Deb. Welcome. We are happy to have you. A Southwest design Annie would like to see. We have made those in the past, yes, so we, we should have. make another one. Yes. Uh, Lori would like to see tall topiaries. Oh, okay. Ooh, I love these ideas. So y'all keep do them too. coming. I do too. Keep them coming. That is great. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna start making me a list. That's yeah, good. We'll have to write these down. So y'all keep them coming. Yes. Uh, I like that. Marilyn would like to see a teardrop swag for summer with fruit. We do have some. Yes. I will um, actually. I, I think we have one because I actually saw it yes today or yesterday. I was looking through our blog and I saw that one. I said, "Oh, I've got to." Um, I forgot Post about that. that. But I don't. I can't. I saw the picture of it, and I can't remember if we did that in Design with the Pro Club or if that was on our blog. So, uh, that would be another good one that we can Yes, do. so if, if we haven't yeah. done it, or it, regardless, that's a good one. Thank you. And P 
Cat says maybe a summer hat decorated with flowers. Ooh, like a you know that would be hat. like that a straw hat, be. really pretty. Hmm, that's a good idea. And he said a boho design. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Now we have done a couple of those, but it's been a while. Okay. So yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good one. I like that. Actually, yes, we need to do another, um, I was thinking about that the other day, another like boho, um, because we've got one for fall and, and winter, but we have not yes. done a I'm spring get or summer one, one in a yes, while. Yes, we haven't, and that's I think true. It's, I think we have, but it's been a, a good long time, so we need to do yes. another one. Now, this was the fall oh, one. I really enjoyed that making we that. we did. I really enjoyed that uh, one. And, and the video, I think this was Flower Friday, so mm -hmm. the video is, is out there where we did this one. I love the way that um, one turned But out. I love, I love these Actually, wreaths. that's why it's still here, because you used that one I on used door, it, yes, you? I did. I did. So that's why we did not get to sell it or anything, because I loved it. We'll have to make a, like yep. a spring or summer one. That would be pretty cool. Yes, it really would. I think. Yeah, so this is just, like we said, easy, fun, anybody can make it. I mean, you, you know, any skill level, you can yes. make this. Yes, it's very sure. easy, very easy. So y'all go try it, and then always come back to Grace Monroe Home on Facebook and let us see it. You know, if you've made it, we want to see it. And y'all be sure to check out our blog at gracemonroehome.com. We have tons of DIY tutorials, um, all kinds of... I mean, just anything you could think of. Arrangements, wreaths, swags. So if you don't Bones. see here on Facebook or YouTube, you, you're not seeing what you, you're looking for, go to our blog at gracemonroehome.com. Grace and that is also where we have the supply list because every time that I post a video, I always put a supply list on there so that you guys can see, yes. you know, you know what we used. And of course, things might not always be available because, yes, you know, cause... you're watching the replay. But it kind of gives you an idea of you know, the size of things and, and the amount of things that, that you need to that's right to use for them. So, yep. y'all be sure to check that out. Yes. Uh, Kay said, can we see the wreath behind you? I think you must be talking oh, about Oh, the this purple. One. Yeah. I love this one. I love that one, too. Here. That was in Design with the Pros Club. was one of ours, uh, our monthly ones that we do, and I loved that one. Yeah, I like the way that one turned out. I did, too. I love wildflowers anyway. I love that look, and so that was one of my favorite ones. Actually, I love that color, too, because I love the Yes, that color is so and, pretty. And uh, this year, it's like you're finding a lot of purple yes, stuff. Yes, I am. And, you know, there's a lot of years that you can't mm -hmm. find a lot of, of the different shades of purple and all, but this year, you can find yeah. all So kinds. if you like purple, stock up. And those, the, the big flowers... These were are still there because I saw them the other day. Oh, They're at Michael's. Mm -hmm. Oh, Annie says she loves our pink, pink glue pot. Yes, guys. Oh. Uh, I do believe these are in stock now. I will have to double check. I think they're back in stock. But this is our Grace Monroe Home glue skillet. Uh, if you don't already have one, thank you, Annie, for saying that. Yes. Uh, if you don't already have one of those, um, you, you really need one. Cause they're, yes. Because they're really really great. They're a special edition. We designed this with Sure Bonder, um, and it's just a really handy tool to have. If it you make really a lot of wreaths, arrangements, or if you do a lot of crafting and working with florals, you need And it just having your hands free is just, it's just so nice. And uh, it I actually comes with two, and I don't know where they are right now because I'm bad about laying them around, but it does come with two uh, Teflon stir sticks so that you yeah. can use them to put things, you know, the glue on something if you need to. Yeah. Hey, Amber, we're so glad you're here with us yes. today. We love it when you guys join us live. Yes, Again, we we're, do. we're live at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Time for our Flower Friday show. Of course, you can always, you know, watch the replay, but it is fun when you guys are live with it us. It is. <laughs> Yeah, so it's nice to have somebody to talk to. Also, if you uh, look in the comments, if you're watching on uh, Facebook or on YouTube, there is the number that you can text, and we will send you notifications before we go live. And actually, sorry guys, I sent the one today early. <laughs> yes, she, so, she. as soon as she sent it, I, she oh, knew man, she I had meant done to it. Schedule she was like, it, oh, and I no. sent it. So, sorry those of you who got that, and it said we were live, like, really early. Sorry about yeah. that. But... If you would like to get those notifications, you can text the number 833-455-4212. 
That is 833-455-4212. Text the word WREATH, W-R-E-A-T-H, to that number, and we will send you a, a text notification every Friday before we go live. And that way, you know, you won't forget. Because we all get busy. Yes, we and do. And so many of you text us like, oh, man, I forgot. I missed. Yeah. But that way, you'll get the notification right before we go live and you can join us. That's right. All right, guys. Well, we thank you so much for hanging out with us we today. Do. This has been fun, simple, easy. Anybody could make this. So y'all go and give it a try. Yes, y'all try. If, you know, maybe you're the type that can just make beautiful flowers live all summer long. But if you're like us or yeah. like me, yeah. she's way better than me. If you're oh, like no. me and you just are very busy and forget to water your flowers, something like this is it's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. Yep. So y'all be sure to follow us on uh, Facebook if you are not already so that you get the notifications when we are live or when we're, you know, posting and all that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, if you will, please click the subscribe button and that little bell so you get all of our notifications. That is right. Well, thank y'all so much for joining us today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Yes, y'all go make something beautiful. Go make something beautiful. Give this a try, and we will see you next week. Bye, y'all. Bye.